Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here with my co-instructor. This is Ilya, and Ilya has a torticollis. He likes to turn his head to the right, tilt it to the left. And when you have torticollis, when you do an evaluation, you want to look at how far can they tilt their head and how far to each side, and how, can they, how far can they rotate their head to each side both passively, meaning I do it and see how far we can go, and actively. So in this video, I'm gonna show how I measure passive, meaning I do it, uh, lateral flexion. Hey. So uh, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. One of the easier ways is to use um, a baseline joint goniometer. So this is something that's you, that I use specifically and only for measuring the head and neck. Lateral, rotation, lateral flexion or rotation. So let's see if we can get the measure of lateral flexion of the neck. So you wanna put his neck in about the center of where all these, oh, I see. Hi, hey. And you wanna see how far he, you can laterally flex his head off to the right. This is his left, sorry, to his left. That's about 30. Oh, I hear. Uh-huh, and that's about 40. I see. I think that's 40 degrees to his left. And let's see how far we get. I'm just lining up a line through, imaginary line through his nose. How rude was that, I know. And about, 30 degrees to the right. Okay. Okay, so you may be telling me, Amy, this is all fine and good, but I don't have one of those big angle meters um, to be able to look at what the neck passive lateral flexion is of my child's neck. So there's an app called Angle Meter that allows you to measure the angle of your child's neck. So you can make a, make lines that have, you go with an upright, and then let's move this over just a snitch, and you make a line right through the upright of his neck, and when, this time when I stretched his head to his left, that his head went off, it's saying 35 degrees with some change, um, off to the, off to his left. Um, I'd measured earlier 40 when I used the big uh, go, uh, joint ink, uh, goniometer, but with this we got 35 and it was a different, different time holding it. But you just wanna make sure that you put this at the intersection of his neck and his shoulders, that this line is vertical, and that you go right up through the nose to be able to get a range, and this time it told me 35 degrees. You take a picture of the other side and measure and see how far you get to be able to see the differences between the sides. Remember, normal lateral flexion is 70 degrees, and he's at 35 or 40, so he really needs to have a lot more neck range of motion. I hope this is helpful for you uh, as a different option to be able to measure neck lateral flexion. All right, so for a, a child who looks to the right, they tend to tilt to the left. So I'd expect a bigger, a bigger number going to the left than to the right. And in fact, he went to his left 40 and to his right 30. Normal range is 70 degrees to each side. So generally his neck is pretty tight. Oh, oh you are just fine, I know. So one of the things I'd want to do is teach his mother how to stretch out his neck to both sides because both sides are tight. So one of the things I'd want to do, since now we know he tilts to the left 40, tilts to the right 30, normal range is 70, that I'd want to teach his mother some exercises to stretch out his neck to either side. He's tight both directions but tighter going to the right.
So in physical therapy sessions, that'd be one of the things that I would do is teach stretches of the neck leaning to each side. I hope this is helpful for you and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.